Hey, what's up, guys? This is KD Cloudy, and Apple just totally out of the blue announced spatial audio and lossless audio coming to Apple Music next month through a freaking blog post. <laughs> Now, I usually don't make videos immediately after announcements. Uh, that's not really my thing. But if you do watch my videos, you know how much of an AV nerd I am, how much I obsess and get excited about these things. So I, of course, I had to talk about it, and also kind of express my skepticism about all this skepticism. What a word! <laughs> But yeah, lossless audio and spatial audio, two main things which are coming to Apple Music next month. But there is more detail, more nuance, and. most of about compatibility that are still unclear now and i'm kind of thinking out loud through this video but right now let's work with the information that we have already and let's talk about lossless audio now the thing with lossless is that because it's so high quality and carries so much bandwidth you sometimes need like proper amps and dacs and special hardware and wired headphones with high impedance and all that stuff to listen to each and every beat and actually take full advantage of these high resolution files but most apple music consumers and subscribers are airpods customers and that is why smartly enough apple is going to release two versions of this lossless feature first is apple lossless or alac and second is high res lossless so what i'm guessing is that when you have your airpods connected or your regular headphones connected it's just going to play the cd quality version but you when you have your hi-fi systems or your dacs or amps or or your interface is connected to your mac or something then it's going to provide that hi-fi 24 bit stream so yeah, that was lossless audio something which a lot of audio files with a ph care about including a bunch of my friends but let's talk about something i care about which is dolby atmos and spatial audio okay now i'm a huge nerd for these things i made a couple of videos already on dolby atmos and spatial audio already you can check them out and if you watch them you'll know that i love all these things i love surround sound but that's only in the case of movies this is dolby atmos for music and you know what dolby is a very good company i really appreciate their technologies and what not but when it comes to pushing their marketing sometimes they can get a little too far This Dolby Atmos for music this marketing title is you know pushing producers people who make songs and musicians to mix their songs through Dolby's joint object coding technology which is object based audio and what not and that in definition is an aim to emulate a wide sound stage sound stage is like a very legitimate characteristic of high end pair of headphones where and you know if you have a wide sound stage you can feel like the instrument separation is going to be at a totally next level and you can feel the in, like each and every beat each, each and every instrument and where the sound is coming from dolby atmos for music kind of wants to emulate that experience which is only available on high end pairs of headphones of like a wide sound stage and put them on tiny airpods now i haven't really listened to what apple music has to offer in terms of spatial audio because it's not out yet but if i recollect from my memory like when i listened to tidal's dolby atmos tracks on my oneplus 8 pro which was a dolby atmos supported phone both on my headphones and through loudspeakers and i felt like that dolby atmos for music reduces that punchiness in vocals especially you might like if you listen to music on your headphones it just spreads everything out and it kind of reduces the weight of everything to fit in each and every sound instead of kind of focusing on some sounds and not focusing on others if that makes sense so yeah personally i'm not really a fan of dolby atmos for music but that was tidal and it was the oneplus 8 pro uh, and i usually like apple usually does better at implementing these things and also uh, it says spatial audio supporting dolby atmos and i'm not really sure what it's supposed to mean because spatial audio was only supported for like movies it was only supported on the airpods pro and the airpods max on this blog post it says that spatial audio is going to be supported on all airpods so which leads me to believe that it's only going to be that wider sound stage effect that surround effect but 
not the head tracking feature because that is a little unnecessary because you you don't sit in a theater to listen to songs that's just weird <laughs> so yeah i'm really interested to see how this all works out what types of you know amps and dacs are able to work with both spatial audio and lossless audio and those things can only be answered once the feature actually arrives in apple music and i'll be kind of renewing my student membership to try these things out and make a video about it so yeah and also one thing i was really looking forward to airpods 3 just give me spatial audio under 200 dollars and just just take all my money dude just just give me airpods 3 uh, but yeah um hopefully we'll get airpods 3 soon and more stuff because wwdc is coming soon and i'm really excited to see what ios 15 brings and uh, you know will we get spatial audio on mac os and apple tv and all these things i'm really excited to see and also there's google io like tomorrow i guess yeah so a bunch of things are happening might make a video of things that are interesting let me know uh and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers